Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, this is Battleborn. If you don't know what it is, it's like a MOBA version of Overwatch. I mean, they, they feel completely different, both games. They're both good in their own rights, but this is... It reminds me of more of like a... First-person smite. I mean, this game mode. You'll see. We're going to play Wrath. He's a he's melee. I mean, there's a lot to unlock. You can unlock them by progressing your command rank up, or you can do individual missions to unlock uh, Battleborns. Um, I don't know, it's a unique genre. I mean, in this one, you don't really have minions running around, but it, there's another game mode or two that has them. This is just capture points. Um, I enjoy it. I mean, I... Obviously, Overwatch is going to have more of a popu uh, population, and I'm not going to sit here and argue uh, about which game is better. I think they're both good in their own right. I'll be playing both. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Obviously, even on Twitch, you know, Overwatch has like sevenfold, seven times the amount of uh, of viewers than. Battleborn, but I think the word needs to get out a bit more about Battleborn. This queue pretty much throws out yeah, two blade beams, if you will. And his E, it's a charge. Well, not a charge. It can later if you spec it, right? You get augments each level. This is one thing Overwatch does not have. Okay, slows on impact, so I got a snare. And his ultimate uh, whirlwinds, but. Overwatch does not have skill upgrades like this, you know, pretty much you go in, you play, and you have an ultimate in that too, but I like the skill tree in this, it's, it adds more diversity, and hell, I haven't even branched all the way up because the games usually end, you know, a lot quicker in this game mode from what I noticed, and above and beyond that, To capture the point. You can actually put turrets up here, supply station, which will heal you. And I think your shield regens automatically, but your health does not unless you're on one of the shields. And then you have uh, boosters, which will increase your run speed when you go by them. And you collect these shards to actually put those things up. So it's nifty how you can sort of build around the capture points. Collector A lost. Um. I don't give a shit if I lose or not, I'm secure. still gonna upload this. But yeah, you have... You can do Q and E so you can actually, uh... Do that a little quicker there. Ah, uh, keys. See some action here. Okay, okay here we go. Knock him up in the air. And you start bashing the shit out of the bitch. Come closer. Should snare. Oh, killed her. Alright. Weapon fires twice. But yeah, there's a lot to unlock. Until next time. Oh shit, that didn't even reach far enough. This guy's a sniper. Once you're on him, you eat him up. I think we're gonna crush him this game. Yeah, you have range, you have an archer, you, there's casters, Collector melee, tankies, you know. Okay, now, when I do use my E, I will actually leap towards them. Which is pretty nifty. This guy's tanky as fuck, see, I, I leap towards him, but I missed, so. He's not using his shield, he's usually pretty fucking beefy. I think you gotta get behind him. I don't think he can permanently use that. I don't know. I don't have him, so. You're up. Fuck. Missed my jump. I would cue that bitch right now. And there are support classes, too. I can heal. Collecting shards along the way, which I can actually put some stuff up. I'll show that off if the game doesn't end so quickly. Collector C lost. Oh, I still knocked her up. And the, there are NPCs. 
like this guy, you can level off of. Okay, skillful siphon, more, more leech. And I have my ultimate now, so let's go in and go to point C here. Use my alt, throw some shit up. Since I have enough points, let's throw up two things. You go up to it, and you press R, there's a turret. And once you kill it, if the other team has it, Okay, ulti. And it pretty much rips shit apart, as you can tell. Wow, it's getting shredded. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take for my shield to repower up here. There it goes, CO comes up. So that's nifty. Seconds here, should recharge the little blue bar down there. Yep. Pick up shards. A pleasure working with you. Go to B here. I think it's a minute cooldown on my alt. Enemy forces at half strength. See, they're not putting turrets up, which I think it helps quite a bit. That, yeah, like I said, the supply ones will. uh... Good job, guys. They'll heal you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, say they're a turret tier and you kill it, it'll have like a minute respawn time before you can put another one up. Um, double shockwave length. Just damage. Uh, I should have went the length with the E, but whatever. Now watch, accelerator. You run faster. Generate spy mistress! Let's go to A. Let's hit A. Left, let's cap it. Collector A secured. They surrendered. Well, yeah. But usually the games last twice as long as that. I mean, if you hold three points, it's over within a couple of minutes. But as you can see, we were about halfway through the game, but they surrendered because they were just getting rolled. And I mean, it seems like a lot of new people are coming into this genre. Even myself, I'm new. So. You have a lot of people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, I mean, every game I've played, like here, I'm 6 and 0. I did the best on my team. But normally I'll be like 4 and 5, 4 and 6, and the rest of my team, they'll all have 1 or 0 kills. Sort of like their team right now. People just, they need to, you know, there's not a big learning curve. It's just, I think people have an issue with picking skills as they level, getting a correct build, or they don't know how to use certain characters. Like, this guy, I've played plenty of times, I like him, but like, there's a guy that's like a tank, he has a big machine gun, and I played him, I went like, fucking 1 and 8, 1 and 9, I was horrible with him. But you gotta find the right Battleborn that fits you, you know. And it's cool, like, some of the champs will unlock after you win 5 matches with a rogue, or 5 matches with a certain faction type character, you know. It's really nifty, it shows your shard count here. This guy collected quite a bit more than me. Minions killed. I mean, you're not going to see a high minion count in, in the capture points because you're not you, you don't have minion waves coming at you like in the other game modes. But yeah, you can see you can get minion kills because on the outside of the maps, those like nether looking creatures, you can level off of them. Apparently, they're worth doing. But see, my command rank is four. I mean, there's a hundred command ranks I think, and to get all the champs. Yeah, it's like 30s, like high 30s, 40s, I think you'll get most of them. But you can see, I've played, I probably have like 6 hours, 7 hours in the game, and I'm not even, I'm a little over halfway through 4. So it's going to take a long time, which I'm not complaining about. I mean, it's pretty cool. And each each character has a rank too. I don't know what that entails, maybe new skin unlocks and stuff. I didn't see like an idle mall. I mean, obviously the game's 60 fucking bucks. But, oh yeah, if you go to CD Keys, I got it for 30 bucks. I don't know if it went up or not now, but that's why I got it. I mean, at first I'm like, I'm not buying this, and I saw it there for 30 bucks, and I want something to play up until Doom and, you know, Doom and uh, Overwatch come out, and, and it, it, this game's growing on me, so I'll be playing this as well. All my friends are going Overwatch, which is understandable. I'll be playing it right there with them. But, uh, you know, 
I'll be playing this when they're not on. But yeah, you can see all the Battleborns. Here, I'll show them off quick. I should have done this at first, but whatever. Say rank 20, or win five matches as an LLC character. So you can unlock a lot of these pretty easily. I think there's like 25 of them, and yeah, they're going to be releasing more, obviously. And you get like six to start with, and Wraith is one of them. So you 15 levels per character too. I mean, there's a lot of progression, which command rank eight. She's. This is, your, this is your gear management interface, where you'll have access to the various weapons of war you'll be picking up throughout our campaign against the Varelsi. Loadouts represent your, you know, gear loadout. Okay, I guess this is for single player. Set of gear you want to I don't know if it supplies the multiplayer. I mean, shit. Three. So make good decisions, okay, champ? Sorry, that Ooh. the stats page displays an overview of your command history, your rank, your best performances in battle, wow. and other Pentacles, critical Wow, squad kills, so it has your count here. Trenches. That's pretty badass. How many count times you play with each character. I haven't messed with single player much, I like jumping right into online. There are two annoying things, there's like a 5 or 10 minute long cinematic trailer you gotta watch at first, and you can't skip it, it's fucking annoying. I mean, it's alright if you're into that kind of thing. And then you gotta play out the first mission, which takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes, if even that. Okay, loot packs. So they're like, yeah, packs. And you open them with blue coins. Technically, I could open one of these. Which you get them through playing. I don't know if they're gonna have this shit where you can put money in to, you know... So yeah, you can get skins, and it's cool, you can progress, the, you know, you can open these through. Technically I can open two, two or three of them besides Epic. You are guaranteed one piece of Epic, and one Uncommon with this. And I don't know if they're going to have a microtransaction for this shit too, which I'm sure they could. I don't see anything on here for it. So it might be purely through just playing the game, which is cool. I mean, like I said, it's a... It's a fucking $60 game, and like I said, go to CD Keys and get it for cheaper. If you're on console, you're pretty much fucked. You gotta spend the 60 And then the season pass is 18 on CD Keys as well. I'm sure it's like 30 So yeah, I mean, with these season passes coming out, you're looking at dropping almost 100 bucks on any game nowadays. But that's why I love PC. I have a bombing-ass computer, so I'm saving a lot of money on games, actually. Like, I bought Overwatch, Doom... Division, um, and Battleborn for like 145 bucks. I mean, if you go to the store, you're looking at 240, you know, even 300. Because I, I have bought another game too, uh, Rainbow Six Siege for 36. So it was like 100 and no more than 180 bucks, and it would have been over 300 to, uh, you know, buy base price. But yeah, I'm gonna mess with opening Despite these the packs. End of all things, our friends at the Last Light Consortium are still in business, and they really want to sell you stuff. You can so browse their wares in the pack, but Yeah, that's the game, and hopefully you guys pick it up. I mean, I think it's worth it. They could have advertised it a bit more. I mean, the queues are quick. There's people playing it, but yeah, take care.